Hi, welcome to episode 11 of T News. I am your host, Jan. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new here, welcome. We are going to go through a bunch of different things tea related, whether that be new tea products that you might be needing to check out or wanting to check out, some different tea contests. We do different blogs. We do all kinds of things. And I am so excited to announce this week's winner of the gift certificate from last week, as well as we have a new generous small business that is uh, offering up another gift card for this week. So stay tuned until the end for that. If you are new, please hit subscribe. And at any time, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps out my channel and helps me get more tea news to you. All right, let's dive right in. We are going to start off with the photo of the week. If you want your photo from Instagram featured on the T News Weekly, hashtag it, use the hashtag T News with Jan. This week from Yoga Tea Poetry, this is a beautiful, well, like first, everything is just catching my eye. I am just and she's pouring the tea and it's so beautiful. It's video, so of course I'm like partial to video. <laughs> but that table that she is using there is just so gorgeous. I love like, you know, she has the, looks like the clotted cream and um, jam and the little hearts. And she's talking about, you know, winter was almost over and that deserves a celebration. And I love that. So, so gorgeous. Just beautiful moment captured. Thank you so much for sharing. Up next, we have you, you Nami. My apologies if I pronounce things incorrectly. Pronouncing things is not my strong suit. <laughs> I know, you're probably like, Jan, what are you doing pronouncing things? Anyways, let's move on. Um, my friend Kimberly from Tea is a Wish blog has an affiliate link, but it also gives you 20% off. And isn't it great when you can get 20% off and help a friend if you're buying tea anyways, that is the perfect way to do it. So I'm going to leave the code on the screen and down below and you can go check that out. Give her some love, give yourself some love with some new tea and checking out this company if you haven't already. It's just, they have tons of different Japanese tea. It's so delightful. And I know it is one of Kimberly's favorite. Up next, uh, if you know me and you've followed me and my wife Jeanette over Vlogmas, you know that she likes Lego and different things like that. So she actually sent me this tip. So thank you so much, Jeanette. I really appreciate this. It is the Hill Garden Tea Room. So what this is, is it's Lego ideas. And this is where ideas go to grow. And you can see they almost have 2,000 supporters this needs 10,000 supporters in order for it to be created officially by Lego. I love it. It is so adorable. Let me see if I can show you a few different photos of it. It is so cute. Look at that. Oh, just adorable. Little tea room. Look at those people having tea. Aww, so cute. If you hear that rumbling, we are having a storm. I don't know if this is all going to stay on. We shall see. Up next is another one. So while she led me down the rabbit hole for the Lego ideas, I noticed that this boba tea was here as well. There's a little over 900 supporters for this one. I think it's really neat looking. It doesn't look like traditional Lego to me. I'm not like a big Lego person. That's where Jeanette comes in. But I love how this is so adorable. Super cute. And of course, at any time, I'm going to leave all the links down below. So when you're done watching the video, everything's going to be in order and listed and you can just go check them out at your leisure. Up next, we are excited to announce a new tea blogger on the block. We have a tea fueled writer is the blog name. 
And this is from our friend Katie, who we may already know as uh, in the video world. She does have a video. What's that called? A YouTube channel. Oh, gracious, Jan. And a blog that we all very well know is Luann from The Cup of Life. Her blog, of course, is like, ugh, I just, I've been in love with that for so long. And if you've been watching for a while, you may have caught where we did the interview with Luann to learn a little bit more about her. And we ended up sending her away with a little bit of homework. <laughs> and this was one of the three parts of her homework. It's the iced Earl Grey matcha latte. She kind of mentioned that she was doing this and I was like, get on it, like move a little faster. <laughs> I am so excited to try out this recipe and let you know how I love it. I, I'm already loving it. Like I'm, I'm just like, I just, I just, I wish she could just show up and just make it for me. Wouldn't that be lovely? So she talks about like the whole thing and oh, she goes into such great detail about the different things that you should be looking for and you know, the whole recipe and everything. And of course, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can find the directions on how to make it yourself. I can't wait to make it. Look at that. It's so gorgeous looking. Yum. And now is the wonderful time where we like to celebrate and we like to celebrate everything because you know, that's just spectacular. So let's dive in to some birthdays, shall we? So, <laughs> A massive happy birthday to everybody that is celebrating in this next coming week. Happy birthday. If I have missed you, my apologies. I'm trying to capture everybody that sends any birthday wishes to me. So we have on March 28th, Aries Kitsun. My apologies if I pronounce anybody's names or handles incorrectly. Ooh, <laughs> so much pressure. <laughs> on March 30, on March 30th, we have Estera O'Neill. And on April 2nd, we have our friend Ellen Globetrotter. <laughs> happy birthday to you all. Happy, happy birthday. I hope your birthdays are everything you ever dreamed of and so much more. And I hope that at least you have a little slice of cake or a little slice of sweetness with your tea that day. Something that you enjoy. Maybe you don't enjoy sweetness. Maybe you enjoy something else. I'm not really sure. I hope whatever you want, you get to enjoy. We are also wishing uh, Allison from Tea Time with Allison Lindsay on her one year anniversary of her blog. Congratulations, happy blog anniversary. That is so special, hitting those milestones. I know how great that feels, so congratulations. Up next, I am so excited. Oh, I have my tea here. I haven't even tried my tea. I made an iced tea and I used this here. Ooh. Uh, Kiana tea. Uh, it's an aged black tea tree. This was a sample pack that I got through the Women's Day box. This is so delightful. Mm. So good. I'm getting lipstick on my stuff. <laughs> Yum. It is nice and rich and dark and earthy and it's just whew, so good. I am so excited to introduce to you our friend Sarah. Sarah was having a little bit of issues with Instagram. Actually, I don't know why I'm explaining any of this. Let's just dive in. Let me introduce Sarah. Take it away, Sarah. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Thank you so much for having me on your tea show. Um, first of all, thank you so much for your support. You and the tea community were really, really great at being there for me when my Kiani tea account was hacked. And um, yeah, it made it, um, it made the experience much nicer. I very quickly made a new account called Kiani Tea Room because I didn't expect that my Kiani tea account would get recovered. But actually the good news is that it was recovered last night. Uh, completely unexpected it um, it just came back after I have been chasing Facebook and Instagram for a few days 
However, I will be keeping both accounts because I do feel the Canity room is starting to do something on its own and I, um, I like that. So I will keep both accounts. Um, so you asked me to say a few words about Kianity and um, I'm very good at making things long so I will try and keep this one short. But basically I just want to make really great teas, like unique, single origin, high quality teas. I want to, I want to make these teas accessible to everybody. I, um, I know that you can find really great teas today, but I feel it's a bit like you have to be really into tea. You have to know these special brands that offer unique teas. And I don't want Kiani tea to be that. Like I want Kiani tea to be accessible to all. Like I want even the one who's not searching for unique tea. I want that person to stumble across Kiani tea and get curious about tea. Um, I feel my approach to it is a bit lighter than other tea brands like coming from a fashion background I, I try and make things I mean I don't even try it it's just the way I do it it comes out a bit more probably a bit trendy even um, it comes out more easygoing more like colorful um, less serious um, not that I don't take tea seriously I really do but I do feel it 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 kind of speaks to perhaps even younger people, um, all kinds of people, not just young people. I do think that, um, what do I think? I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to be welcoming to everybody, basically. And I wanted to feel easy, like you can easily get into the good tea. You don't need to have like all kinds of um, special tools, although that we honor and love you know the Gaiwas, the traditions but i do feel that sometimes in order to get more people on board you have to amend traditions a bit you need to um, make things a bit more modern and perhaps that's what i'm trying to do with kiani tea i'm taking something old ancient um unique very unique honoring it 100 percent. i love honoring culture the traditions and the history but i do feel Sometimes you got to give it that new twist in order to maintain the traditions and to even have more people joining you in the traditions and um, yeah, that's about it. I want it to be a easy, fun, welcoming community and um, that's what I feel it is already. So I'm very grateful and I'm grateful for all these beautiful, wonderful people that I come across every day on my Kianity account. So thank you and thank you once again for having me. Thank you so much, Sarah. I am so excited that you shared all of that. I really appreciate it. And it was so great getting to know you a little bit better. It was just delightful. So thank you very much. I'm so glad that you got your Instagram back. And I'm also excited that you're keeping two of them. I find this so amazing. So, so fun. Moving on to something a little bit different. We have our friends over on Cap on T blog. Cap on T, Cap on T. Cap on tea blog? I'm not quite sure. Anyways, uh, they said, you know, we shared a little bit of information on our recent post and it would be great if you shared that. So this I found super interesting. So let me tell you what it says. Tannins naturally presents present in tea can interfere with iron absorption. Indeed, it is recommended to leave at least one hour between an iron rich meal and a cup of tea. Now, the reason why I found this so fascinating, um, my father who has since passed away, he had hemochromatosis, which is, um, I'm no doctor, so let me try to explain this the way that I understood it. It's where your body holds onto all the iron and it doesn't let go of the iron. So you actually have to go and he used to have to go and constantly get his blood like removed so that it could lower down the iron. The interesting thing was that his doctors actually said if you could try different things, so like he couldn't cook with like a cast iron pan or anything like that, so I was happy to get the cast iron pans, <laughs> so that was great. That was like, you know, the silver lining, is that what they call it? But uh, I remember he did not like tea. And I remember being like, but dad, they said that tea is gonna be good for you. 
So I was like, I'm gonna bring over a bunch of different teas and we're gonna line this up and we're gonna have a tea tasting. And I remember that my mom was like away, she was like, you know, on a trip or something like that. And I remember it was just me and my dad at home. Like I was an adult, so I didn't live there, but I went to visit every day. And I remember lining up all the teacups and my dad was, oh, he was like, he was a mean old man. <laughs> And it was like, this was like part of that turning point in our relationship. And you know, that tea just like really brought us together. He didn't like any of them. <laughs> there was, I think one or two that he was kind of like, ooh, that's kind of interesting. Listen to that, that's crazy out there. I don't know if you can hear that rain or not. Anyways, so, but I like had like, I don't know, 10 different cups for dad to try and he just sat there trying them all and we had this conversation and this was, oh my gosh, this was probably like 10, 12 years ago. Like, it was just, yeah, it was beautiful. Like it was so special to me and it's just something that I've always kept like close to my heart as like a special, special memory. So I find that so interesting. So if you are interested, if you do have a loved one that has hemochromatosis and you're talking about tea and stuff like that, there is uh, this clinical trial that was done. So I find that so interesting. Up next, we have this small tea company, Granville Island and they have all these different teas. So like they have uh, straight teas, traditional teas, as well as they have blended teas, like candied almond, Buckingham Palace, caramel black. Like these just sound so, so good. Like French blend, like ooh, hazelnut vanilla, Lady Londonberry. I'm just reading to you now. This is what's happening. <laughs> oh gracious. Tea break! <laughs> I, um, Jeanette and I went and did the tea and chocolate uh, workshop with Monarch Tea, with Katie from Monarch Tea, and every time that we'd have our tea, she'd be like, tea break! So that's all I can think of now. So adorable. I would highly recommend that. I'm hoping, uh, I did do some recording and I'm hoping to be able to share a video with my thoughts on that, but the short version is I love it. <laughs> highly recommend it. Our friend Sarah that I introduced you to, if you were new to Sarah's internet, internet, YouTube, <laughs> gracious. She mentioned to me, she was like, Jan, don't forget David's tea sale. And they do, they have a 50% up to 50% off their semi-annual sale. And some of their deals are really, really good. And of course it's like, you know, until, until it lasts. And they have um, where you can buy 200, so buy four packages and get the fifth one free. So, and, and that's stackable. So some of these are really great deals. So definitely might wanna check that out. Up next, we have eight ounce coffee. This is, I know you're like, Jan, why are you talking to me about coffee? Now, this here is the company that I love to purchase Fellow products. And if you're new to Fellow, that's the Corvo, the kettle that I love. They also have like the uh, travel mugs and stuff like that. But the thing that I was so impressed with is that they have joined the Trans Affirming Network. And I think that that is just so beautiful. I know myself as a lesbian, I love being able to go in and when I see the rainbow flag just kind of quietly flying in the corner, I'm always just like comforted because for me, that just shows to me that the people that work there are accepting of me and my wife. Uh, and it just, it just, you know, a world full of anxiety, it definitely helps. So if you are an ally and you have a workplace, maybe, maybe check things out. <laughs> Up next we have T2 tea and I love these little sippers. They they have the bunny, the cat, and the koala and I don't even know which one I would want. 
I just want them all. They're so adorable. So they're $18 US. They're so cute. And they're marketing them towards like, you know, selling them for little kids. Um, but I think I would like them. Look at that. So, so adorable. So cute. Little tail on the back. Capacity, 200 milliliters. So it is small, but my goodness, oh, so cute. Limited stock there, guys, limited stock. <laughs> my friend Christine and I had such a good conversation going back and forth about different tea towels and everything. And this is one of the ones that she shared. I just love this retro tea towel. Um, so it's like a 1970s patterns of different like mugs and stuff. I just love it. It's so adorable. It's really cute. Very, very nice. So, so good. Up next, we have Tea Together Tuesday. So every Tuesday is the day that you can answer a prompt that myself and my friend Kimberly from Tea is a Wish blog, we are the creators of Tea Together Tuesday and we encourage everybody to come together, answer the same question, and then go and search the hashtag, meet some new friends, and you know, have conversations about the same question. This coming Tuesday, the question is what tea store in the world would you like to magically be transported to? And I think this is such a fun question to like, you know, just ponder. And I think everybody would be able to answer this question. The imagination. And of course you can answer any which way you like. There'll always be a template that you can fill out on Instagram and share that way. Or you can put it right in your Instagram, Facebook, you could do YouTube, any which way, blog, you name it. All right, now we have our special um, winner from Call Me Sweetie. I can't believe that Danny from Call Me Sweetie was so generous as a small company to donate a $20 gift card. And the winner of that, that commented on last week's uh, YouTube video, the winner is Carrie Seward. And the comment was, love your tea news, finally catching up again and checking out new tea companies. Thrilled to see Call Me Sweetie has an oolong tea. Congratulations, Carrie. Please send me a message and I will get you in touch and you will get that gift card. That is so spectacular. Again, Call Me Sweetie is so generous to do that. That is just unreal. And our next generous donor uh, for a gift card, a $20 gift card to their shop, is our friend Nazanin from Tea Thoughts. And this is open to anywhere that she ships. <laughs> so, and of course, if you do win something here and you're like, but Jan, she doesn't ship to me, you can always gift that to a friend. Wouldn't that be so nice? So it's still a spectacular gift no matter what. So um, Nazanin has spectacular things. Uh, she does her own artwork and puts it on different things and she makes things. So look at this, I chide. It's so cute, little wooden pins. She has different stationery. She does the, the different pins. I bought this pin and I can't find it. I need to like really search. <laughs> I'm still looking for it. <laughs> it's in the house somewhere. <laughs> so, so wonderful. So there you have it. If you want a chance to win the gift card from Nazanin at Tea Thoughts, you need to enter by commenting on this here video. Comment on this video to be entered in to win the gift card and it'll be announced during the next Tea News. So, Stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. You, you need to be subscribed. You need to support. <laughs> and make sure you go check out Nazanin at Tea Thoughts and peruse all of her goodness. Thank you so much for joining me. I so appreciate it. And I will talk to you down in the comments down below. Until next time, take care. Bye. My flowers are holding up. 
Ooh, they're so beautiful. So pretty. Look at this, it's just like spring. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. <laughs>